Hi, this is Maris from Atio, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our new research agent AI block in your workflows. The research agent block is our latest AI block. It allows you to select any record in your workspace and input a set of questions that the AI agent will then research for you. You can then go on to use that data in a variety of ways, whether that is to triage your inbound leads, add additional information to record attributes, set up follow-up tasks and actions, or send information to a downstream system. For this example, I've created a workflow that uses the research agent to gather more data about a newly created workspace, and then to determine whether or not they fit into our ICP. I'm going to manually create a workspace here, although in a real life scenario, this would be automatically done by a segment integration. Now that's been added in, the workflow has been triggered and the research agent is working behind the scenes to fill out the two attributes about recent funding and the business model. And then off the back of this, it will determine whether or not that business is an ICP. Because this workspace has been classed as ICP, we've also created a deal for this new workspace and sent a message in Slack to alert our sales team. Let's navigate to the automations tool to run through how you can create this workflow. To trigger this workflow, we're using record created on the workspace object. Next up is the research agent block. We've taken the associated company from the created workspace as the record, and then we've input two questions that relate to our ICP criteria. This is how much money, if any, have they raised from venture capitalists in the past five years, and what is their business model? The research agent will scrape the record as well as the wider internet to answer these questions and return an answer. Now we're using classified text, another of our AI blocks, to assess whether this company is ICP, agency or consultancy, investor or other. I've added in the questions that were given in the previous block and I've used variables to provide the agent's answers. I've also listed how our ICP is defined. Now off the back of this, this block will tag the workspace accordingly. The update record block will update the company type attribute that is on the workspace record to say whether it is ICP, agency and consultancy, investor or other. We're now going to filter by ICP workspaces only. The reason for this is that we don't want any of the new ICP workspaces to be missed by our sales team. This filter means that for any non-ICP workspaces, the workflow will stop here. For ICP workspaces, on the other hand, they will continue through the workflow to the next blocks. We're using a round robin to go through our sales team and then using create record to create a new deal record, pulling in data through variables and assigning the deal owner as the sales member that was selected in the round robin. And finally, we're using an integration block to send a message on Slack highlighting the new deal to the sales team member. That's an overview of the research agent block, which takes the power of AI and the context of the entire internet to help you make faster and better informed decisions at every stage of your sales process.